everyone. I just wanted to take a few minutes here at the beginning of week two um, to go over the agenda and explain what is in store for you this week. So of course when you go into the content and click on week two module, the only thing you're going to see at first is the week two attendance quiz. Remember you have to submit that quiz in order to gain access to the lessons and assignments for the week. But also remember that the questions on the week two attendance quiz will be based on the material from week one. So if you are behind right now, you're going to want to catch up on week one as soon as you can so that you're not falling further behind because you can't get to week two yet. Right? But once you take the week two attendance quiz, you'll have access to everything for the week. The first thing you'll see under the attendance quiz is a quick review of week one. It's just a little brief recap of what we covered last week. Then um, we have our first lesson of this week, which is all about introductory paragraphs. Make sure you look through the PowerPoint and at least watch or listen to the video lesson that goes with it. Then we have paragraph development. And paragraph development is broken down into four mini lessons. So the first one is on paragraph basics. The next one is on paragraph focus. Then we have topic sentences and support. And then we have um, paragraph coherence. All four of those mini lessons each have its own PowerPoint and video lesson. I broke it down into four smaller lessons instead of trying to, it's just one big, huge, crazy lesson. Um, so it's broken down into four smaller lessons for you. You can go through them individually. You don't have to sit down and go through them all at once, but you do want to go through all of them at some point throughout the week, okay? The last lesson for this week is on concluding paragraphs, right? The conclusion of an essay. So make sure you're looking through that PowerPoint and video lesson as well. All of that, plus the thesis statements lesson from week one, is the basics of essay writing. An introductory paragraph with a thesis statement. Body paragraphs, concluding paragraphs, right? All of this is going to be the foundation for your research paper your course project research paper, as well as your reflective essay at the end of the term. So you're going to want to really pay attention to these lessons, really think about whether or not you are understanding these basic elements of writing an essay. We will get into the research part coming up over the next few weeks, right? Um, because that, that just adds in a new element. But even if it's a research paper, you still have to have an introductory paragraph with a thesis statement. You still have to have well-developed body paragraphs, and you still have to have a concluding paragraph, right? The only difference is that you'll be adding in source material and doing everything in APA format, but it still has to be an essay with all of the elements of basic essay writing. So what we did last week on thesis statements and what we're covering this week on the rest of those essay elements, super important, okay? Make sure you're going through those lessons and make sure you're reaching out to me if you're not understanding something, okay? Homework for this week. Uh, first item is Journal 2. There will be two videos located in the assignment instructions for Journal 2. The first video is just the explanation of the assignment, me explaining what you need to do to complete it. You can watch that video or not. It, there's also written instructions provided, right? The second video, though, is a follow-up video where I go over the text that I had you read and respond to for the week one discussion. Remember, it was In a Station of the Metro by Ezra Pound. This video, this second video here in Journal 2, is a follow-up to that poem. You're going to need to watch that follow-up video to answer the questions in the Journal 2 assignment. That's how the journals will work through most of the term. The journal will have a follow-up video to the previous week's discussion. So make sure that you're watching that follow-up video so that you can correctly answer the questions in the journal assignment. Okay? Try to have that done by Sunday at 11.59. The next item is our essay basics assignment. Again, we're going to make sure that we're understanding thesis statements, introductory paragraphs, body paragraphs, and concluding paragraphs. This assignment will be in the quiz area of the course, so it's in a quiz format, but it is still just an assignment. 
Um, I think it'll say there's a two hour time recommendation, but it's just like any other assignment, there's really no limit uh, for how long you can spend working on it. I'm just putting it in a quiz format because that makes it easier for both you and I to see which questions you missed because then you can do corrections easier um, to gain back the points that you got taken off. All right, so that's, that's the only reason it's in a quiz format is just to make it a little more streamlined for you and I to see what's wrong, what you missed, and then for you to submit corrections if you choose to do so. All right, um, there will be a video <laughs> on the, once you start the quiz, right, and it, you go into it and you see the first question, at the top, there will be a video where I go through each section of that assignment slash quiz and explain exactly what you need to do in each one, just like I do for all the other assignments, okay? Try to have that in by Sunday at 11.59. And then, of course, the last item this week is the week two discussion. Um, you don't need to go through any of the week two lessons first. Uh, it's, it's another poem that we're looking at. Uh, so you can start on the discussion at any point during the week. Uh, there's a video in the instructions to explain what I'm looking for with the prompt. Try to have your post up by Thursday night so that everyone has plenty of options and plenty of time to respond to two classmates by Sunday night. The week two discussion will remain open during week three, but remember if you post to it during week three, it's at a 50% point reduction. So really do your best to have it done on time so you don't lose out on those easy points. Right? Okay. Well, that's it for week two. Um, if you have questions or run into any issues along the way, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, otherwise, you guys are free to go ahead and get started.